Okay, tonight's lesson is the final part of topic 9, and we will finish fractions finally and mix numbers in improper fractions. And I'm sure you're very excited about that, but let's first learn about subtracting mixed numbers. So, um, the first thing we got to do is we got to have a problem. We have 2 and 1 eighth candy bars. Candy bar. Okay, I decide I'm very hungry, and I decide I'm going to eat three-fourths. How much is left? So what operation, first of all, is this going to require? Adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. Did you say subtracting? You were absolutely right. Okay, now a couple things here. With subtraction, this is where our cartwheel comes in play. You're probably wondering why we even learned that in the first place. Well, here's why you need it. Cartwheel. Whenever any time you see subtraction, subtraction, we're going to do our cartwheel. I have to change any mixed number. So I have to change, using my cartwheel, any mixed number to an improper fraction. It will make our lives so much easier if we do it that way because then we can use the butterfly. If you don't change it, you can't use the butterfly and you'll get all messed up. So remember, our cartwheel is, uh, first of all, we identify our mixed numbers. One of our mixed numbers is that. One and one eighth, two and one eighth. In order to um, make it an improper fraction, we know we have two holes that are cut in eighths, so we can multiply that together. And then we're gonna add our extra one eighth here. So this equals 16, 8 times 2 plus 1, that is 17 eighths. These two numbers, this number and this number, mean the same thing. So we're going to replace 17 eighths in where 1 and 2, 2 and 1 eighth are. The other number that we have is 3 fourths. It's already in a fraction form. There isn't a, it's not a mixed number, so we don't need to change it. Okay, so we just sh I just showed you how to use a cartwheel. It, just as a reminder, we do 2 and 1 eighth. It means we have two whole pizzas filled in. They're cut in 8 slices. If I were to add all those up, I could actually multiply 8 times 2, 16, and then add the extra piece of 1 added on, leaving us with 17 over 8. So this improper fraction is going to go in here now. So our new new problem is 17 eighths. I start off with candy bar. I'm going to subtract what I ate, 3 fourths. And now notice that we have two fractions. One's improper, but we can now use our butterfly method. All right, so I'm going to use my butterfly. I'm going to go 17, 8 minus 3 fourths going to do this. Okay, these numbers are not going to be as easy as our addition. I'll do this side first because I know what 8 times 3 is. That's 24. Remember that we're going to do 17 times 4. I'll have to do that math over here. 17 times 4 times is 28. Carry 2, 68. So I'm going to put 68 over here. Okay, and that's my other thing. I put my subtraction sign and I do my body, which is 32. Now, now I have to do my math. 68 minus 24 is 4 and 4. So this equals 44 over 32. Look what I notice. Ooh, improper. So we are going to have to convert that using the back flip to a mixed number. Remember, if it's raining, do, 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 do. 44 goes in the house, 32 goes on the outside, 32 will go into 44 one big time, leaving us with our subtraction here of 2 and 1. So 12 is the remainder, and the slices are cut in 30 seconds. Now, as you know, these two numbers are both even in our fraction, so we can whittle it down. I'm going to divide by 2. Notice I rewrite my whole number because you're going to forget it if you don't do that. 12 divided by 2 is 6, and 32 divided by 2 is 16. 
I still have two even numbers. I better keep going. Divided by 2, divided by 2. Okay, I'm going to erase this here. All right, go back to this. 1, don't forget that. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 16 divided by 2 is 8. So this is what we have left of our candy bar. Okay? Okay, here's our new problem. Um, we notice that we're subtracting mixed numbers, so therefore we have to do um, we have to convert these and do our cartwheel. And notice that we have two of them, so we're going to have to cartwheel two mixed numbers into improper fraction. Our first one, and I'm going to do that in green, four and one tenth means I have four holes. They're cut in tenths, so that's times. So that's four times ten is forty plus the one extra I have, so this is 40 one tenths. Okay, the second fraction that I have, or mixed number I should say, is three and four fifths. Three holes, cut in fifths, so we times them, that's 15, plus four is 19. 19 fifths is that one. These two right here are going to replace the fractions that are currently in there. So you can write out to the side, 41 tenths and 19 fifths. Okay? This strategy of using the cartwheel, you will also use for multiplying and dividing when you learn that in sixth grade. So um, it is beneficial that you're learning it now because it will carry over because you have to do it when you're multiplying or um, dividing fractions next year. So um, after I did my cartwheel on both my numbers and got my equivalent improper fraction for both, Okay, I can now do the butterfly. Okay, notice that our numbers are quite a bit bigger, so you really have to know how to multiply here. Okay, I'm going to do my math off to the side. I need to do 41 times 5. Okay, that's 5, and that's 200. So that's 205 on this side. And if you make errors in this, it's probably going to be right at this point. I'm going to do 19 times 10. I know that it's 19 times 1 and bring down the 0, so that's 190. Okay? And then here I have 50, 5 times 10. So when I actually do my subtraction, 205 minus 190, I get 5, I get a borrow, this becomes 10, this becomes 1, and so I have 15. So I have 15 over 50. Now notice, this time our fraction is not um, an improper one, so we don't have to do anything other than simplify. So if I put 15 50 over here, I am going to divide both the top and bottom by 5. I know that they're divisible by 5 because each one ends in 5 or 0. 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 50 divided by 5 is 10. So our answer to this problem is simply three tenths. One last example. All right, one thing I did want to point out is where I got my numbers. I did 41 times 5, 205. I think I mentioned it, but I just want to make sure that you understand where I got 190 and 205. So that's, that's where I got them. They go there, and then you do your subtraction. All right, here's our last example. Okay, got a spicy one for you guys. Look at what I have here. I have a whole number 5, okay, and then I have no fraction, so how am I supposed to do my math here? Kind of weird, huh? Okay, so I want you to think about it for a second. Okay, this one, there's two ways to go about this. The first way would be to think about what this 5 is. It's a whole number, which means we have 5 pizzas, and they're going to be cut in the same as the fraction we have here because that wouldn't make any sense to cut it differently. So if I were to cut these in six, and I'm going to stop the tape so I can do this. Okay, so I have five holes, whole pizzas cut in six. So all of these are shaded in. If I shade this whole thing, I have one, two, three, four, five from the first one, five from the second, or six, excuse me, Six, 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 
six. So all together I have thirty cut in six. So I can change my five into thirty six. So my new number here is gonna be let's use our other colors, they show up better. Thirty over six. That's one way to do it. Another way to look at this is Okay, another thing that you could do, which would be a little bit faster, is you look at your whole number, which was 5, and you look at the fraction, the only fraction you're given, which is 1 6. You take the denominator here and simply multiply your whole number times that number, and that's going to give you how many pieces you have. You have 30 of that, of that 5. 30 over 6. It means the same thing as what I did above here in the yellow, but it's just a faster way to do it. All right, so we converted our whole number over here, our 5, into an equivalent improper fraction. We now need to make 1 and 1 6 improper, 1 and 1 6. Cartwheel, you're going to go this way. You're going to multiply 6 times 1, because remember, we have a whole 1 cut in 6, plus an extra 1. That means we have 7, 6. That's going to go here, 7, 6. We can now subtract 7 from 30. That gives us 23, 6. We don't even have to do butterfly here because the denominators are the same. Isn't that cool? But we do have this icky, 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 icky mixed number, or excuse me, improper fraction that we have to convert. So we now do our backflip. 23, 6. 6 goes into 23. It's going to go into it how many times? three times. That's going to give us 18. This is 5 because we borrow 13. This becomes 1. So we have 3 and 5, 6. And I'm going to circle it in purple because that is the answer to that problem right there. So if you want to write it in 3 and 5, 6, you would do that and you'd be completely done. And so that's our third example. It's kind of spicy, but I think you can do it. Way number one was this one, where we draw it out. You don't have to do that, because way number two just simply says, take the whole number and multiply it times the denominator of the fraction that you're given. And that's that six. We're going to get lots of practice, so don't worry. Um, just make sure that you take the notes and um, answer the questions at the end. Thank you. Good night.